excited to announce this is my first video of many to come. Um, I'm going to the cottage this weekend with some friends and uh, I think it's kind of silly to eat terrible food all weekend when I'm working so hard during the week. So I'm just going to share with you what I'm taking to the cottage, how I plan on staying healthy, and um, hopefully inspire some of you to do the same. Here we go. So first off, I made a lentil salad here with a little bit of egg, tomato, some onion, um, a Dijon dressing, really simple. This guy over here, the cauliflower chickpea mix, um, I think it just has a little bit of green onion as well. Um, and it's got a little bit of Dijon mustard uh, dressing on there as well. I made these two dressings at the same time, so I cut my time in half and they won't taste anything alike once this guy is cooked up here. All I have to do is saute it and it'll be ready to rock. Um, I brought some forks so we could snack on the lentil dish in the car and then we won't be tempted to um, pick up anything naughty. Uh, and then here we have, um, this is a millet Thai fusion dish. I just made it up the other night and figured all we have to do when we get there is heat it up and we'll be ready to rock when we get to the cottage and we won't make any bad decisions. Um, then I've got a little bit of corn on the cob here. I made... Um, um, black bean burgers not too long ago, froze them, and then I have a gluten-free bun along with that just in case everybody else's burgers make me crave a burger. I am ready to rock. Um, my guy, he'll eat some uh, regular burgers with everybody else. And then here we have, this is really delicious actually, it's a cucumber kimchi. Um, you just have to check out Gwyneth Paltrow's cookbook. Um, I added some carrots and ginger, she didn't have that, and um, I really like that in a traditional kimchi, so I just added that. Um, I also have some things here for salad. I've got um, some spinach and kale, tomatoes, a nice ripe avocado. Um, I also chopped up some red onion and green onion. I've got a container of goat cheese there. Um, some lemon and limes and then my little juicer. And then this is actually a really delicious and super easy snack. Um, it's just some almonds and I threw um, threw them in a pan dry, uh, sauteed them around for a bit, and then just splashed some tamari on them. And um, that's super delicious. And then uh, we got a little bit of cashews here and a little container of black sesame for my salads. And um, then the star of the show, my homebrew kimchi. Um, or kimchi. <laughs> kombucha, sorry. Um, this is my homebrew kombucha. So instead of drinking... Um, a whole bunch of alcohol while well, everybody else is. Um, I'll have my own kombucha here and um, I might put a little bit of uh, gin or something in it um, but mostly I'll just have the um, the kombucha and then I'll feel great. And, uh, yeah, no hangovers. I can get up, have a run, go for a swim, just stay super duper active. Anyways, so thank you for joining me. I look forward to hearing from everybody and how they choose to eat on their long weekends. And um, yeah, stay healthy this summer. Cheers. <laughs>